So, this 2020 now. And <coughs> so, I went to court um, last month, January. And so, the judge was like, um, she finally decided to hear my case or whatever. So, it's basically like, so she told him, it's like she going to tell me, Mind you, this is, um, you know, claims where you could represent yourself, right? If you got your paper, you know, you got your evidence, whatever. So she going to tell them uh, last year to make sure they come with their paperwork. Why would you have to tell them to come with their paperwork when they supposed to already know to come with their paperwork? And so I asked for a judgment for wrongful fish. I asked for 5000 not for pain and suffering, you know, for them taking me through all this, you know. And so in the process, um, I was going back and forth to legal aid. And so they helped me get my voucher back. And so I told the judge last year, I was like, uh, I just need them to take the uh, the uh, that money amount off my credit report because I don't owe them no money. I paid them over. You know, they got their money and over soon. And so she going to say, uh, well, you should have representation. You would have got your judgment. I was like, this, these people are crooked in childhood. I have never... So she she going to say I should have had a lawyer represent. Why would I have to have a lawyer representing me when I had all my paperwork, all my documents, all my rent receipts and everything? She told me, well, um, basically, like, she didn't want to deal with me. I always, because I'm a black woman, I don't understand these people in Chattanooga. They crooked. It's like they do, they, they don't do what they supposed to do. It's like they all for the other people's side or whatever. So... She gonna say, well, I'm not gonna give you your judgment of five thousand dollars, you know, for wrongful eviction. But they ordered, she ordered them to finally take it off my credit report. So I goes and get the paperwork or whatever, and fax it. Um, she you know she told me she get in um, ten days. Okay, so if um they don't take it off my credit report in ten days, I can come back and file it back at the courthouse if they don't take the uh. The two thousand dollars off my credit report. So, uh, well, man, you so I try to find a place. I got my voucher back, and so the lady, um, she gonna tell me, um, we're taking your voucher back. Uh, you taking my voucher back after the lawyer made y'all give it to me? Listen, so. They, I couldn't find nowhere to stay. Once again, you know, I got my voucher back, but. They took my voucher back, telling me they just want me to relocate out of Chattanooga. So, no problem. You know, I have no problem. I don't want to stay here no damn way. It floods here. It's corrupt. I don't want to stay here no damn way. I've been trying to leave Chattanooga. I don't want to stay here no way. I'm about sick of these folks here. I've never seen so much corruption in my life. Now, I know every city has corruption. But not like this. This place is very corrupt. And I'm just, I'm tired of being freezing cold. I'm just tired of living here. I've been here my whole life and I'm ready to go. I would like to see some new people and some new corruption. Because I'm about sick of these folks here. And so, now I went and got the paper from the courthouse. And so, uh, I faxed it to the uh, credit people. So, I got to call them and see if dog will place on took down my credit. So if she told me if they haven't, I can bring them back to court. But mind you, why didn't I get my judgment of five thousand dollars for wrong for eviction? She told me that they was wrong for evicting me. Because they got their rent money. But why didn't I get my judgment? Now mind you, dog will place are not owned by the original owners. They sold it. And so the girl gonna holler. The, the, she's still the property manager though, and so she gonna say uh, she lost her voucher. I said, oh, that's what she wanted me to do, lose my voucher, and I got it back. Like I did, I did get my voucher back, but Section Eight ended up taking my voucher back from me. But get this, I called a lawyer back at legal. Hey, guess what they tell me? In Chattanooga, about a house, they can no longer help me. That I need to file a lawyer instead of doing pro bono. I need man, you I'm on Social Security. They telling me I need to find a lawyer and pay him so I can get some justice in Chattanooga. 
Why I gotta pay y'all crooked ass folks? You know y'all fucking crooked. It don't matter if I pay y'all or don't pay y'all. Y'all still gonna be fucking crooked. Either way it go. I just want this shit off my credit report so I can relocate. Because I'm tired of staying here. I'm tired of fucking freezing.